Good morning, guys. It's your girl, Kyo Chemist, and I'm vlogging on the go. I'm vlogging on the go. Hi, all the Dario. I'm vlogging on the go. All right, so good morning. Um, I wanted to pop on um, the 30 days of happiness. You know, they're kind of winding down. So I guess this is kind of still pertaining to that, um, but just the general vlog. So I am happy uh, to, I guess, talk about this. If you've been following and keeping up with the vlogs, keeping up with me in general, um, starting in January, I signed up with a personal trainer, and that was a 12-week, con yeah, basically three-month contract, 12 weeks. And I completed that, um, not this week, but last week. So, I know me. Now that I don't have to get up and work with a personal trainer, because I'm not going to renew my contract right now. I think eventually I will, but not right now. Um, I just have some other things that I need to budget in right now that must be done. And so, I'm not going to commit that kind of money um, to a personal trainer at this time. So, I need to still stay on track. And in addition to the fact that the weather's getting nice and most likely I'll get out and do some running, um, I know me. I'm a procrastinator. And with the running, normally I'm very focused if I know I have like a race that I have to work towards, you know, competing in or whatever or participating in. But right now I currently don't have a specific date of a race. I need to probably just look for one and pick one and just plan to do it even if I just go and do it by myself. Um, but that's not as fun. But anywho, but what I did do was I decided to go online. I'm all the time seeing people post those 30-day um, challenge little calendars, whether it be something for your abs or something for your upper body, your lower body, where every day you do some exercises and as the days progress, you increase the amount of those exercises you're doing. So I was like, well, let me look for one for thighs because my thighs, my lower body, this just not where I want it to be. Even with the, the training and the strengthening, um, there's just some things I need to work on there. And so I thought, well, I can definitely focus on that <clears throat> and do a 30-day challenge. And then I thought, <clears throat> you know, let me look for a few more so that maybe I could just keep going. So then I said, let me look for one for arms because although I've gained some muscle tone in my arms, there again they're still not you know where I my ideal vision would be for them and then of course we can all use core work ab work that's just a general thing you always want to keep strength in. so I looked for one of those and so instead of deciding to do those 30 days at a time I decided to combine them and do like a 30 day total body challenge and then I took it a step further to make myself accountable I posted about it on my personal Facebook page and tagged a few of my friends and family that um, I know are, you know, like myself, needing to work out, desiring to work out, and people who will kind of push me as well. So I'm happy to say that at least um, right now I have about nine or ten people who have committed to that. And so I was very happy. But then I decided to take it a step further. I posted about it on my Facebook page for my YouTube channel. I hate to call it a fan page. Because, yeah, I don't feel like I'm some kind of superstar. But that page, my Facebook page for, you know, for this channel. And I had two other people who... Okay, that's not good. Okay, people, that wasn't good. My whole little contraption that I use to uh, record while I'm driving just decided to pop off the screen, off the window. So I'm going to have to hold this... Um, but yeah, so I had a couple of people who chimed in there. So what I'm going to do on that to make sure that that information is available, I'm going to post links below here to the challenges that I am doing, and I'm also going to um, I'm also going to post on the Facebook page to make sure that the actual links are there because I realize the images that I captured and placed on there when you try to expand them, I don't think they're as clear. But I'm saying all that to say, if you would like to join this total body challenge for 30 days, uh, we're starting on Monday. I'm super excited. 
Um, I have a vacation coming up at the end of May, Memorial Day weekend, and I'm going to Phoenix. And yeah, everything that could happen right now is happening in my car. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to Phoenix, and I, you know, it's gonna be hot, so I know I'm gonna be wearing very few clothing uh, items, you know, skimpy stuff, you know, tanks and shorts and. Uh, I just made a really cute romper that I think I'm going to take. Um, but anywho, I want to be looking, you know, I want to be looking good. I mean, it's Phoenix. I know these people are out. They're exercising. And my friend that I'm going to visit is like a personal trainer. So, yeah. I, I don't want to be looking like the frumpy person from the East Coast who is just really standing out in the crowd. So, if you are interested in joining me on this 30-day Total Body Challenge, Please like comment below and I know I know I know I know for those of you who keep up with me I know March of Pilates was a bust I know a lot of my fitness um, moments where I'm all enthusiastic at first and then not so much later um, was that a party space? yeah I know how that goes I know I know I know but um, 30 days I know I feel like I can do it this time like I said I have tons of people who are joining me to keep me accountable and so I feel like I'm definitely going to do the 30 days um, my goal is to make sure that I'm just doing something for the full 30 days um, there are some rest days with these um, little workout plans but the days all go together like they all have the same rest days and the same go day days where you're doing stuff so that's good um, but yeah Towards the end, I see some of the numbers are really high, and I know some people were like, um, you know, that's a lot of, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, or whatever. My intention on those days where I feel like I can't just do a straight 100 of anything is to just split it up, do it maybe, do some in the morning, do some at lunchtime in my office if I have to, and then do some in the evening, just to complete the total number. I don't think you have to literally sit there and kill yourself if you're not at that level of fitness. So, again, I'm going to post that stuff below, the links below. There is a, like I said, there is a upper body arm, like, challenge. There is one for the thighs, and I don't know if you are female out there, um, unless you were just like really into fitness, thighs are a constant challenge, hips and thighs. Uh, and then there is an like abs core um, challenge. So I'm really excited. It would be great if some of you would join me because I think that would just add to the excitement and add to my accountability. So yeah guys, I'm going to put that below. And then I'm going to post videos, you know, um... I'm definitely more so going to post on Instagram. I'll be posting some stuff. Um, maybe just like comments and getting people to comment back. And I will post on f my Facebook page. So I'll put a link to the Facebook page. And I'm Kewl Chemist uh, on Instagram. So that's easy to find me. But yeah guys, I hope you will join me. Um, I'm really excited. And I guess this would be my positive experience for... What's today? Day 24? today the 24th yeah that's my positive experience that I um, am committing to you know getting more fit more tone continuing on with what I started at the beginning of the year um, and I hope that you will join me it's a beautiful day today I don't know if you guys can tell but it's a beautiful day it's Friday I'm about to go into work and knock out this work day got a lot of stuff going but I'm in such a good mood um, that it's gonna be all good and I will talk to you very soon bye guys